Legends, sponsored by calljacob.com. A two-time champion with the Lakers. Just describe what it was like to wear the purple and gold. Oh, man, to wear the purple and gold. Such a wonderful experience being a part of Laker Nation. Um, Obviously, the uh, tradition, the caliber of coaching and players that have come through that organization, um, what it represents as a whole, um, I I think is... uh, one of the one of the most amazing feelings that, that you can have. It's one thing to wear the purple and gold, but to win a championship, you won two of them, 08, 09, and 09, 10. After those championships, how did life change for you? I think I think for me the biggest thing is just knowing that from a legacy standpoint, I'll forever be a part of history, and I, I think that's something that's really really cool that you, it doesn't dawn on you and, until, you know, after the fact or, or even now, like 10 years later, you know, the fact that people recognize you from championship teams and, you know, just, I mean, is this a, is this a great feeling? I don't, I don't even really have the right words for it. And, and for me, what was even more special is the fact that, you know, I was able to bring my son on stage during the second championship. So he's He's a part of a lot of footage, uh, so I know that's cool for him to be, to make videos and and know that he had a chance to be on stage. What's your favorite, like, kind of personal memory of playing on those teams? Is there a game that stands out that you had that you're like, man, I'll never forget that? There's two parts to it because I know we got our butts kicked um, in Portland, and there was a there was a little scuffle. And some of the guys got suspended. And I remember I jumped into the to the scuffle, you know what I mean, on behalf of my teammates. But being able to have my first start as a as a Laker, we got a win. We were in Houston. I think I put up, not I think, but it was like 17 and 10 or 17 and 9. And just being able to show everybody what I could do. Like I know what I could do, but really having a chance and really being able to play without worrying about subs or doing this and doing that because we have people out. I think that was one of those moments for me. Josh, to play with Kobe Bryant, uh, what lessons did you learn from Kobe, both on the court and things that you can apply to your everyday life? Consistency. You know, when, when you talk about, you know, Kobe and you talk about his mentality, that's the biggest thing that stands out is just bringing that type of mindset every day. And it's not just an on the court attitude. It was something that he brought off the court as well. And what impressed me, uh, what impressed me the most about him is watching him as a man, watching him as a husband and watching him as a father. You know, those are definitely things that, you know, I take with me um, to this day, a guy like that showed up each and every day, you know, for his family. Like the lengths that he went through to make sure that they're not forgotten in all of this. 21 Reasons to Give. Tell me about that foundation and, and your work with them. 21 Reasons to Give is something that's near and dear to my heart. I know that most foundations focus on one thing, but 21 Reasons to Give, we have 21 principles. So 21 different ways that we bless the community and are able to serve. And that's something that, again, is to my heart. Like, that's something that's near and dear because I like helping people in so many different ways. So just truly a blessing, you know, and the fact that it started in in L.A., I mean, it's only right, you know what I mean? 